أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله نصينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شر أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا ما يضل الله فلا مضل الله وما يضل فلا هادي له وشر الله إن الله وشرنا أمرنا به ورسوله السلام عليكم dear brothers and sisters today's khutbah is going to be about like something that is very common amongst the students which not only affects us in our school life but also prevents us from being good and practicing Muslims, in general. But this bad quality is a disease that if not treated, it can overcome you. And it's called laziness. Allah says in, in the Quran, Surah Tawbah, verse 46, If they had desired to go forth with you, they would have made some preparation for it, some equipment, such as tools and provisions. But God was averse, that they should be sent forward, that is. He did not want them to go forth, so He slowed them down. He made them feel lethargic, and, he, and it was said, to them, stay back with those who stay back, with the sick, the woman, and the children. In other words, God decreed this. The renowned scholar, Sheikh Muhammad bin Uthaymeen, when he was explaining this verse said, O oh Allah protect us, this verse is very powerful. We should measure ourselves to it. You should look into yourself. Check if yourself is lazy from doing good deeds. If yes, then have fear that it might be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who made you lag behind. So force yourself towards good deeds for today and you may be able to do good deeds, uh, even if you hate it right now, but tomorrow you'll do it, and yourself will be obedient to it. Now ask yourself, are you having a hard time making it for pleasure prayer at the mosque, or just a hard time waking up for it? Are you having a hard time respecting your parents? Are you having a hard time making all of your daily prayers on time? We should ask yourselves this, could this be because we have neglected Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and good deeds for so long that it doesn't even come naturally to us anymore? It's all about forcing yourself until your soul becomes obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Start working on a good test until it becomes a habit in your, in your mind, body, and soul are focused on it. For example, if you plan to pray Fajr at the mosque, but you have been lazy from doing it for so many past days, you need to first light, uh, light up that desire and intention to not just pray Fajr, but pray at the mosque. Secondly, you need to physically prepare for it by sleeping early, making wudu before you go to sleep and uh, ask someone who is regular in making it to the mosque to pick you up. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow you to wake up on time and think about the rewards of praying in the mosque, especially the Fajr prayer. The best cure for laziness from the teachings of our dear Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is to wake up before the sun rises because the one who wake up, wakes up after the sunrise then will have the devil ur urinate in his ear making them dull and heavy in approaching their daily tasks in laziness and unwillingness. Before the sun rises, make wudu, then offer two rakahs of prayer. When one sleeps, the shaitan comes and places three knots on his head. And so when he gets up, one of those knots is destroyed. Then when he performs wudu, another one is gone. And then two rakahs are prayed and all three knots are broken, and the person will feel fresh. Also, Qadi Iyad mentions in Ashifa that too much eating causes too much sleeping, and too much sleep renders one lazy and irresponsible. Also, uh, games and entertainment cause the irresponsibility in the spirit. And more important than all of this is to have a good opinion of Allah, as Allah is with the servant according to his or her expectations of him. Never let, never let yourself disappoint or demoralized. And the doer of like a task should place his or her reliance and trust in Allah only. And through this, in the individual will find the best results and turnouts in what they have hoped for. For those who put their trust in Allah, they will find Him by their side, always taking care of them in the most complete and best forms. But those who trust in the creation instead, then Allah leaves them to the creation with unguaranteed results. For every de disease, there's a cure in Islam. And laziness is a disease which we should, Allah, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us overcome it. Finally, I want to end with another verse that's a call for us all. Allah says in the Quran, O you who believe, what is the matter with you? That when you are asked to go forth in the cause of Allah, you cling heavily onto this earth. Do you prefer this life over the, the, over the world and the hereafter? But little is the comfort in this life as compared with the hereafter. That's Surah al uh, verse 38. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with an active, productive life. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala never let us lag behind. May He help us achieve sincere intentions in all that we do. Amen. أستغفر الله الذين لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم.
ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلم وتسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم اللهم بارك على محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد قيموا الصلاه